Word Creator 2025.3 is out, and it is packed with exciting new goodies for terrain generation and environment artists. By the bite, the developers behind Word Creator have introduced several new features in this update, so let's see what this is all about. One big highlight is the improved terrain generation toolkit, especially the new cave creation feature. So with this update, you can literally punch holes into your terrain, I mean in a good way. The new paint holes tool lets you carve out openings for caves, tunnels or dungeons, and you can do that directly with the terrain. This means you can design entrances to underground areas, and have the engine recognize those voids, which is something not easily done in previous versions. You can create overhangs or cavities, and then export a cave mask to other software, and the software knows exactly where the caves opening are. This is actually a small change with big implications, especially for level design, because you don't need workarounds to get those caves. You can integrate them naturally into your terrain workflow now. In terms of interface and usability, the developers did refine some tools. For example, the Border Blender filter got an update so it can blend terrain edges in both circular in addition to rectangular shapes. This gives you more control when smoothing out borders, I mean between different terrain areas and it is handled through a simple option in the UI. Little quality of life improvements like this show that the team is actually listening to user feedback, which is great. The export and integration capabilities got a major boost too. Perhaps the most talked about feature is the new Octane Render or RBX export. So if you do high-end rendering or VFX work, this is actually a big deal. You can now export your entire terrain scene as an ORBX file, which is Octane's scene format and open it directly in any 3D software, which supports Octane Render. This means you can send your word creator landscapes straight into Blender, Max, Cinema 4D, Maya, Nuke, or any other 3D software with Octane, with full fidelity and no manual conversion. As you can see, it is a huge convenience for visualization artists, in addition to game cinematic teams who want to bring the terrain into a path tracer for gorgeous lighting. On the game development side, this release also introduced an official Godot Engine Bridge plugin. As you may know, Unity and Unreal Engine were already supported via bridges, and now Godot. So the popular open source engine now joins the party. All these additions align with professional workflow needs, for one simple reason. Since Word Creator has become a fixture in many studio pipelines, now it is used at places like Blur Studio and CineSight in the VFX world, and this latest version clearly has the production focus in mind. When it comes to performance, Word Creator remains a GPU accelerated beast, so all the new features don't slow it down in the slightest. You still get that real time feedback as you sculpt and apply filters, and developers also squashed some bugs and made stability fixes. For example, they fixed issues with plot maps export on AMD GPUs to ensure consistent results across different hardware. In practice, the 2025.3 kind of feels snappy and reliable especially if you're running on a modern GPU. If this is the case, you will continue to enjoy newer instant terrain updates, which is one of Word's creator's biggest selling points. Overall, I think this is a solid update, especially if you're a good DAO user, because this is a huge plus. And there you have it, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to the channel to receive more news like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.